Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be talking about Hadogenes troglodytes, which is the giant African flat rock scorpion. Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be focusing on the sexual dimorphism of the species and uh, generally how to care for the species. Right here I've got a male and I'm going to get a female for comparison later. Now as you can see for the male, the claws and so the pedipulps let's call it, and the tail tends to be very long. Whereas for the uh, female, as you can see, the pedipulps and also the tail uh, seems shorter. And in simple terms, how I would personally describe sexual dimorphism or define sexual dimorphism is the uh, difference in their uh, physical appearance. That is generally how it's simply described. So for this species, it's generally found in Botswana, Mozambique, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. So as the name states, a giant uh, African flat rock, right? And so in this side-by-side -side comparison, we can see that it is clear that the left side is a male and the right side is a female, where it's very obvious that the male has a much longer tail, and also the pedipulps of the male seems to be more uh, long and slim, whereas for the female, it's got a uh, chubbier or chunkier sort of pedipulp, and so there are these differences in them. Now, as you can see from the body, they generally use their pedipulps to hunt, and they generally prey on small animals like uh, small rodents, reptiles, and also insects. And these guys are actually quite mild in venom, and so they don't really use their tails much, uh, as much as other species like the fat tail or thick tail uh, scorpions, and they can be quite aggressive. So these species are also very famously known for being very slow growing. They can take six to eight plus years for maturity, and yet they're very, very uh, commonly kept as a uh, pet scorpion. And the reason for that is because they're very great for beginners. They can live in hardy conditions, warm and dry. 25 degrees to 32 degrees would be ideal for them. And these species can also get to a very, very long or large size. Their size can go up to uh, 21 cm or over, and so they're generally a very big uh, species, which is why they're called a giant African flat rock. And these guys are actually great for beginners as well because they're, since they're so hardy, right, I don't really need to give them a water dish because all they need to rely on is the hydration they get from the food. And so you want to use an enclosure that is also at least four times or five times bigger than their own body size is what I recommend. Some people would also say uh, use an eight liter sized enclosure and uh, it really is up to uh, you know your own preference, but you have to make sure that they can burrow. And we do this by using a, a mixture of clay or sand and make sure that they can go under you know the substrate when they want to. You want to make sure there's a lot of hiding spots because these guys like to stay in crevices in uh, the wild and you also want to make sure that you know it is as warm as possible but not too hot for them so that you can speed up their uh, uh, their growing stages or their uh, maturity their time for maturity but anyway thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next one please like share and subscribe if you haven't already